Hello, everybody. So if you have been receiving notifications on your Windows 10 machine that Windows 10 is going to reach end of life on October 14th of 2025, I wanted to show you how you can remove those notifications so it won't continue to interrupt you while you're trying to work. So let's go over to the Windows 10 machine now and I'll show you all those steps. Okay. So, on your Windows 10 machine, if you'll go down to the bottom right corner, there's an icon for notifications. And if you'll click on that, this will show you all the notifications for your Windows 10 computer. And as you can see, it continues to remind me that on October 14th, 2025, Windows 10 will stop receiving technical support or free updates, which... You may or may not have seen this video, but if you haven't, you should click right up here because they're actually going to extend it for another year as long as you do one of three things. So click on that link so you can watch that video and I'll show you how to get one more year out of Windows 10. But if you don't want to receive this message, you can just click dismiss and it'll be gone. But what if you don't want it to show up again at all? So what you can do is you can click on this little gear right here, which will open up settings. And then you can click on go to notification settings. Now here, if you'll notice, you can turn off all your notifications if you want to. I wouldn't suggest that because some of them may be helpful, like your printer's out of ink. Hey, there's a Windows update. You might want to have some of those notifications showing up. But if you wanted to, you could just turn all of them off. Now, if you don't want to do that, let's go ahead and close this and go back down to the bottom and click on the notification icon again. And you'll see there's that one that just keeps annoying us. So if we click on the gear again, you can turn off all notifications for suggested. But again, what if that's not what you really want to do? You just want to get rid of that one notification. Now you can go ahead and you can click this little arrow to collapse it, but that doesn't get rid of it completely. And if you go ahead and you click the little X right here, well, yes, that would get rid of it right now. And it wouldn't show up at the moment, but that wouldn't get rid of it permanently. So how can we get rid of these notifications permanently and also not have Windows continue to prompt you to update to Windows 11. So I'm going to show you two different ways that you can easily do this. The first one is with the registry editor. And the second one is with PowerShell. So if you go down here to the start button and you click on it. And you type in registry. The registry editor will be the very first result. And you want to go ahead and click on run as administrator. Now, if you get this prompt, is it all right for the registry editor to make changes to your device? Go ahead and click yes. Now here, underneath your computer, you want to go into the H key local machine. Now, once you open up the H key local machine, you want to go into software. And you can go into each of these by either double clicking on the key or clicking the little arrow and it'll expand it for you. Now, underneath software, you want to go to policies. And then you want to go to Microsoft. And then under Microsoft, you want to go to Windows. Now, this next one, you may not have this registry key. If you do, that's great. But if you don't have one for Windows Update, we're going to create one. So you're going to right-click on Windows, click on New, and then click on Key. And you're going to type in Windows with a capital W, and then don't put a space, and then type Update with a capital U, and then press Enter. Now, underneath Windows Update, we need to create another key. So we're going to right-click on Windows Update, click on New, and click on Key. And we're going to type in Notify with a capital N, and we're going to press Enter. 
Now over here on the right side of the screen, you have notify selected and you're going to go over here to the right and you're going to right click, click on new and click on D word 32 bit value. Now we want to name this one discontinue with a capital D and then we're going to type in capital E, capital O, capital S and press enter. Now we want to double click on this because we want to change the value. So if you double click on it, you want to change the value data to a one and click OK. Now all you have to do at this point is go down to the start button and click on the power icon and restart your Windows computer. That would fix it so that you would no longer get those end of service or end of life notifications inside of Windows. Now, there is another way that you can do it also. So if I go up here and I close out of the registry editor, and then I go down here to the start button and I click on it, I can type in PowerShell. Now, the Windows PowerShell should be the very first result, and that's the one we want. But we want to run it as administrator. So go ahead and click on that. Now, if you get this notification saying Windows PowerShell needs to make changes to your device, go ahead and click Yes to allow that. Now here, we're going to type in two commands. The very first one is get with a capital G, and I'm going to include these down below so you can just copy and paste them in. But it's get with a capital G, and then dash scheduled with a capital S, and then task with a capital T, and then a space, and then a dash task with a capital T, and then name with capital N, and then a space, and then in quotes, you're going to put capital E, capital O, capital S, and then notify with a capital N, and then you want to put an asterisk, and then another quote, and then a space, and then you want to put the vertical line, which is right above the enter key, and then you want to put a space, and you want to put disable with a capital D, and then a dash scheduled with a capital S, and then capital T, A-S-K, and then press enter. Now that's going to take just a moment for it to go through and run that one command. But once it finishes, it'll just go back to a prompt like this. Now we have one more task that we need to do. And it's almost identical to the one above it, except for the task name. So we're going to do the same thing again. Get capital G dash scheduled with a capital S task with a capital T space dash task with a capital T name with a capital N space and then quote and then we're going to put G W X and then an asterisk and then a quote and then a space and then we're going to do the same thing again the vertical line space disable with a capital D dash scheduled with a capital S and then task with a capital T and then press enter now, once those two finish, all you have to do is go ahead and close your Windows PowerShell and then go down and click on Start. Click on the power icon and tell it to restart. Now, that's going to take just a few moments for it to restart. But now, once that comes back up, your Windows 10 is not going to give you those end of life or end of servicing notifications that it keeps prompting you about. So I thought this may be very beneficial to a lot of you so that you won't keep getting those notifications, especially if you don't want to receive them. So I hope that was helpful for you all. So I hope that was helpful on how you can turn off those Windows 10 end of life and end of servicing notifications on your Windows 10 machine. Now, if you happen to have a better way that we can turn those off and it may even be an easier way, please let me know down below in the comments so that I can share that with everybody. And if you have any questions about this or maybe you just need me to go into more depth about it, please let me know that 
down below in the comments as well, and I will do my best to get back to you. And if there's a video, topic, article, anything that you would like me to make a video on, please let me know that down below in the comments, and I will do my best to create that video for you. And if you found this helpful and you'd like to support this channel, I left the link in the video description where you can buy me a cup of coffee if you'd like to. And as always, because you all do such a great job, if you can, hit that like and subscribe button so I can keep putting up more great content like how do I turn off my Windows 10 end of life or end of servicing notifications so that I won't receive those notifications anymore. And I'll be more than happy to keep putting up all this great content for you all. Thanks so much, everybody. I really appreciate you all. I hope you have a great day. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.